Hey there guys, have you ever been thinking about transforming your channel into your own business? Just like the biggest YouTubers out there, they have transformed their channel to become a business. If you have thought about this guys, today's your lucky day because today we will be talking about that. But before we do, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Hey Freedom, what's up? My name is Nold and welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. Today guys, let's talk about how you can make your channel into a business. We all know a business takes time and also it takes a lot of planning and making the foundation on the business. But don't worry about that guys because today we will be talking to you about that. So without any further ado, Freedom Quick Tips. So okay guys, before we dive into the fundamentals of creating a foundation for your business, I want you guys to ask these questions to yourselves first so that you will know what kind of business you will be running and how to transform your channel into a business. Number one, why does your channel exist? So why did you create your channel in the first place? What was the motivation and what kind of content will you be making to make that business happen? Number two is what do you deliver? What is your product? Maybe content is your product in YouTube. And if you have other products or services, that would be great. What more can you do with your channel? Basically, this question is do you have a roadmap of what's going to happen with your channel if you make it the business? What kind of plans are you cooking up for the business to happen? Now let's talk about your channel's mission. Let's ask ourselves our channel's mission or our business mission. Number one, Define your value and your purpose. What is important for you? What is important for the company? What is important for your business to happen? What does your channel stand for? And what are the values that you want to instill inside your channel or your business? Number two, set goals. So what are your goals? What do you want to accomplish with your channel and transform it into a business? Now that we have answered those questions, let's go and build the foundation of our channel or our business by answering these questions as well. Number one, what do you do? What does your channel do? What makes your channel special? What is your value proposition? This is where you will ask yourself, what do you want to do with your channel in a special product? Or what will you do to make money out of it? What kind of audience do you want to target? And what kind of people you are looking for? This is a question where you need to know the audience that you are targeting to. May it be kids, may it be high schoolers, college students, and all of that sort of things. Number three is how do you reach them? Self-explanatory, how will you be able to reach them? What mode of communication will you implore or where do you think they are in the cyberspace? You must find where they are so that you can connect with them. So now that you know where they are, number four is how do you interact with them? It's something like what we do here in Freedom. We have our own support team and also we have a community on Discord. And also you can just comment below on our videos and we will be able to communicate with you as much as we can. Number five, how much will you make? So this is one of the crucial questions that you will need to be asking yourself so that you will know if the channel or the business will be successful. Here we talk about the money and other sources of income. May it be merchandising, super chat, and other elements that can be found on YouTube or other elements. Number six is how much will it cost? So before we go and make our own projects or our own business, we need to ask ourselves how much will it cost for us so that we can properly gauge and know our profits. Number seven is what are the things that you will need? Making a business or a channel needs a lot of things. For example, physical items, your equipment, your camera, your microphone, your PC, your recording tools, your lights, cameras, and sounds, and everything like that. Another part of that is intellectual properties like your ideas or your branding and of course another one of this is financial needs. Here we talk about capital and the amount of money you will need to start the business. Number eight is how will you do it? Do you have the basic know-how to create videos or to create the product that you want to sell? Or better yet, do you have a plan on how to approach the production of your service, content, or your product? Number nine is who will help you? Do you have key partners? Do you have friends that will help you out with a production? Or maybe do you have friends who will fund you with the production that you are doing? These are the things that you will need so that you can have a strong foundation on the business that you are making. Now that we have those foundations in place, we will need to make a brand. Whatever your desired brand is, we will need to exploit that and also make it clear to the people that this is the kind of brand that you want to convey. You might be wondering how we can convey the brands to our audiences. I will be sharing with you the simplest ways on how you can inform your audience what your brand is all about. Number one is your channel icon. This is your channel's profile picture. This can help your audience immediately know the feel of your channel. Number two is your channel art. This is your banner. The YouTube banner is an important visual art because it complements and make it more clear for your audience the nature of your channel. Number three is your channel descriptions. This is where you put down all the necessary information. I'm talking about your links, your business Facebook page if you have, your IG page for your business if you have, your website if you have, and all the important pages that you have for your business. Number four is channel trailer. Your trailer tells your audience what you are. Make it brief, subtle, and sweet. They will appreciate you even more if you do that. Now that you have your foundation in set, you are ready to make your own brand narrative. What is a brand narrative, you might be wondering. 
A brand narrative is a way for your audiences to know what kind of person or entity you are. May it be a friendly brand, a brand for small time actors, and the such. Alright, so let's dive in deeper on how you can make your own brand narrative. There is no actual playbook on how to make your own brand narrative. What I'll be giving you is 5 principles or guides that can help you out with your brand narrative. Number 1 is you should be there. People don't want to be abandoned and if you kind of go under the radar for a long time, they will also leave you. You do not want that. In order for your brand to survive, you will need to make sure that you are there for your audience 24-7 or maybe as much as you can. Think about what your audience will remember about you. Maybe your line of clothing, the things you say in the videos, or a cool logo that you have made or something like that. We in Freedom instill in our audiences that we are a family. Just like what George does. Number three is be different. What is your value proposition? What makes you different? What do you do in your channel that makes you stand out from the other YouTubers or from the other YouTube businesses? You need to brainstorm with your friends or to those people who you trust so that you can make a good narrative. Number four is make what you love most. Is it vlogging? Creating game videos? Find a way to integrate your product or service that you like. Maybe you are selling a gaming chair. You can talk about your gaming chair and make your chair visible as you play the game. That is a very good video because they can see that you're comfortable with your chair and the functions of the chair. Which reminds me, you should do the kind of video for MGN. Hmm. Number five, create unique assets. Made be your intro, your thumbnails, channel banner, descriptions, and other things, and other elements of your business or YouTube channel. You need to create these custom made assets for yourself and for your business so that you can separate yourself from other YouTubers. And that's the episode, guys. I hope you guys liked it. And do you have other tips for us so that we can transition from an ordinary channel to a business channel? Let us know down below. Of course, guys, if you have a friend who wants to take their YouTube career to the next level and make it a business, make sure to share this video so that you can help them out. Before you leave, guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Nold, guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, freedom. Quick tips. I'm going to be seeing you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.